Hey guys, I'm going to show you a quick demo of how uh, Android-based malware, such as a remote access Trojan, can hijack your text or SMS messages, which might allow someone to actually hijack your two-factor authentication if you're using text-based authentication. In this demo, we have two phones. You can see them both here. On this side is the victim phone, which is an Android device. Over here, we have an iOS or an iPhone. This is actually the attacker's phone, and he's designed some malware, which is already on this Android phone, that will forward all the Android device's text messages to the attacker's phone. So before we actually pop into the phones, let me go ahead and bring up a website. Uh, I'm going to go to, let's say, Reddit. In this case, I'm actually using a fake Reddit page that my threat team has created. And as you can see, like many pages, Reddit has a login. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my username and password. However, when I log in, it's asking me for an OTP, a one-time password. And in fact, this Android phone, if we go ahead and unlock it, you can actually see the one-time password, let me get this out of the way, the one-time password has been sent to this phone. So you can imagine if I were a, a user who someone had figured out my password, maybe in a data breach, they still need this OTP. And if the attacker didn't have the OTP because they don't have my phone, if I tried to submit that, authentication is going to fail. So let's go ahead and stop that and just refresh this page to try to log in again. So let's go ahead and take a look at this phone before we try to log in again as the attacker. Now in order to capture the victim's text messages, I need to get malware on this Android phone, which I have already done. We've actually already installed a kind of remote access Trojan that's designed to capture and forward text messages. Now there's many different ways you might get this malware on the phone. The most common way is through, for instance, a quote unquote free applications like a lot of third-party sites allow you to download free APK files or pirated APK files for well-known games. They often come with a bit of malware in them. Uh, the other thing you want to note is I went ahead and made an app icon for this particular malware, which I'll just open. It's just something that actually runs in the background. But uh, in any case, uh, usually the malware will not show you the icon. If uh, it comes with a pirated app, you might see, for instance, a fake copy of Angry Birds, but you're normally not going to see this SMS sniffer there. We just did that in our proof of concept malware. Anyways, one way to get it is to sideload apps from uh, unsanctioned sources. Often, if they're pirated apps or if they come from unsanctioned uh, sources, they might have a bit of malware. The other way to get it is sometimes if a bad guy has a new Android vulnerability, a drive-by download. For instance, if I went to a website, a malicious website, sometimes vulnerabilities can force my phone to install malware. But in any case, I already have my little remote access SMS uh, sniffer on this device. I'm going to go ahead and delete the text message for that failed authentication just so you can see a brand new one. And this time, uh, before we, well, let's go ahead and start the login again. But before we actually do it, let me go ahead and log into the attacker phone just so you can see the text message as it comes in. So this time I'm going to log in. The site requires OTP, which actually gets sent. Here you can see the OTP is sent to the victim phone, but you might also notice we got a text on the attacker phone as well. If I go ahead and open that text message, I can actually see the original SMS was sent from this particular number and the body of that victim's SMS message was your Reddit verification OTP is, let's go ahead and try it from the attacker's phone, 716032. And just like that, I'm now logged in as Sec Adept and can do anything as him. So this is a pretty simple demo, but it shows you how malicious software on an Android device can be set to forward text messages, including your one-time text passwords, to an attacker phone.